Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the Legendary server. We are finally over in the sort of, more well, basically the main part of Forhill, uh, Suri Kaila, however you're supposed to pronounce it. We're finally here. We do have a quest over Ziggeland, uh, which is in Ice Creek Mines. I had a look on the wiki. This guy here, uh, Arnmoth the Exacting, has like 36,000 morale. And it is a proper fellowship quest, not a small fellowship quest. So we're actually going to cancel that one. That is not going to be happening for a while or if ever uh, with that. But we are finally here. We're going to pick up the Stable Master before I forget anything like that. Which means we can go back to Bree or Osford or Ziggeland or Rivendell or wherever we like. And we also have Lothrander to talk to. But before that, we do have our Hobbit gift of the day. So uh, in space-wise, we're not doing very well. Let's do that. And whilst we're... Heading over, let's, uh, well, whilst we're doing this, we should find a vendor of sorts so we can actually get rid of some of our stuff. But let's have a look at our hobby gift of the day and week. Hopefully, uh, it might just be something that stacks. Yeah, rejuvenation potion. I kind of guessed it was going to be something similar. Our gold one is going to be a medium pile of silver scraps, which we'll just sell off pretty much now. I found the guardian. That's good. Uh, we should definitely do that. I need to find a vendor. Where are all the vendors? Apparently, I assume pretty much nowhere. Oh, they're all interior people here, I take it. Right, we're going to hold off on that for the moment then. Uh, I'm going to pick up this uh, Guardian quest. I do kind of, although I'm not really too fussed massively, I am quite interested in completing the Lost Fellowship. So Neff the Guardian is here, find his shield. Captain is over here, and then we just need to find the Hunter as well, uh, which I'm sure will be not very difficult to find, uh, since two of them were in this area, and we've been to the three main areas uh, of this region right now, so let's pick up Reginald Wards, Would you do something find his me? missing herald, and then talk to uh, Lothrandir and see what he has Greetings. to say. So that's just a vector, he's not going to give us anything else, uh, so I'm going to focus on these two today. Uh, let's see where everything's going to be. They're just about uh, down here. So the first one we need to find Neff's shield. So this is to find a shield in the land. That's going to be our first one. And then we need to find the unherald hero. Or the herald of the champion. Uh, basically, that's already a completable quest. So I'm sh assuming we have another quest to do afterwards. Because uh, I think even with the minstrel, we had to do two quests for him. Before it... You know, counted as us helping them out, which is, I think, that or aiding them. So, I'm going to go over here. I'm really, really happy about at least getting that, because now we can travel back and forth from here and Bree a little bit easier. Which means if we do need to, you know, stock up on new stuff or sell off our items or do whatever we need to do. Um, or if for, some, yeah, for any reason we have to get back to Bree, which is obviously pretty much the central point of the entire game. Even though it's not really central, um, but obviously it's like the main area. Uh, you know, it's, it makes everything a little bit easier to get there. So it's going to have a little bit of a trek over here. There are a few enemies around. This guy gave me basically 5k. It's a little bit difficult on these like white backgrounds with the text to see it, but 4,938 XP. Uh, we are just over 2,100,000. And we got some Loss of uh rep. Obviously, rep-wise, we're pretty good. We've got the rep we need to uh, travel back and forth now, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. He said he drops his shields. There's a chance that it's just dropped then, or there's a chance that instead of that, it's going to be uh, you know, picked up by like an enemy or something. Because this isn't just pick a shield up. Though it could just be pick a shield up and then travel back, uh, which is totally possible. I kind of hope not. It's like, this is quite a large area, and our steed, whilst is the fastest it can be at 78% speed, other than having a war steed, is going to take a while. Um, I do want to go up to this campsite though, see if there's anything there. If we can get like some selling some stuff there. We've also got the uh, task items ready to go. Hopefully we can do the tasks over there. If not, we do have the swift travel to uh, Ziggleland. I thought that my, uh, the hunter might be there. That's another reason I stopped off there, but apparently not. I guess I'll look at your quest, see what you've got. Maybe you have something interesting. Fisherman foe, bucket of fish. And fisherman's friend. Uh, we'll think about it. Maybe we'll do that on the way back if 
if it's just these two and you know we don't have to do anything after uh, after unherald hero uh then maybe we'll have a look at doing that just to you know we need to try and get to level 48 today and uh, i'm pretty sure once i get to 48 i'm pretty happy to just go back to the epic quest what i might do though is not not press the wrong button is with this lost fellowship i might if i level up today but don't get that final quest done oh his shield it's broken shield he ran straight past it um if i don't get this today or if i do end up getting this today basically and get to 48 and and whatever i might just make sure i get um the hunter quest done because you know I don't want to leave with one part of a deed that's probably quite easy to complete the other quests, uh, let's be honest. So what I'll do is I'll grab these, see obviously what we need for the Herald. If it is just a case of going back uh, to Reginald Ward, I will just jump back to there. Um, I'll, I'll cut and then go straight there. And then hopefully we can try and find, you know, where this hunter is at some point. You are... Possibly down there. That is a very steep fall, and I think I'm going to die. Yes. You cannot arrive from an instant defeat. Please don't tell me I'm really far away. Oh, God. Okay, right. I kind of didn't realize how steep that hill was. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to skip back there because I don't want to make you wait through that. I might look up where this hunter guy is uh, just so if I'm, you know, passing by now, um, he might be back here. Maybe I missed him there, but I'm pretty sure I did every quest. I would have thought he'd either be here, here, here at this campsite, or it could be up at this final area here. Um, in fact, there he is, hunter. That totally makes sense, right? Well, we might have to leave without doing that then, because that is quite a ways away. And I think some of the enemies here are a bit higher level and uh, not really a huge fan of that. So I'm going to skip ahead. I'll see you in a little bit because it's a bit of a pain to get back. Okay, so uh, although we know exactly where he is, I didn't realize there were so many of these Angmarin enemies. Did we have a quest to defeat some Angmarin? No, we had a deed, I know that. I thought there was a quest to do it. Might be thinking of that old quest that we had that was like, you need to defeat this Agmarin captain. But he should be behind either this one or this one. I'm pretty sure this one back here because this is where we fell down to. There he is. I see the quest ring. It might be a case of we have to uh, escort him back. I don't know anything. I'm sure Collect the banner. Stay a moment. The banner over here. We can probably get that relatively easy. We get a simple rally horn. Uh, I actually had need for one of these, but on the uh, main server, Arkenstone. And it was really annoying, because I always chucked them away. These guys are 48, so if we need to kill one, that's fine. But I can kind of get through a little bit. Oh, that's kind of nice. Right, I'm going to just dismount just in case. But I think... By inching close enough... Nope. I mean, I, I got it. I could technically run away. But... I think I should be alright. Actually, there's four enemies, so I might not be alright, I'll be honest. I want to see how much XP I get for this. 200. That's not even that great. But, I'll get a lot more, because I'll have... Everybody giving me it. Right. So, now we need to bring the banner back. We got a, a bit of rep items. Some broken clubs. So, some slightly, I think, higher level. Yeah, 48 instead of 44. Some slightly higher task items. But that's uh, not enough to actually give in, annoyingly. So, let us return this. And see if it's just a case of, hey, you should return back to the original ward. Oh dear. Reginald's ward. <laughs> Tell Reginald Ward. That he's Reginald Wards. Uh okay. Tell him where the ward can be found. Are you telling me I could have come down there? Oh wow. That was real dumb of me. 
Right. Let's go back. Again, there's going to be a lot of skipping around, but there's a lot of traveling, and I don't really want to bore you with that. I'll skip ahead to when we're back, given these two quests. Uh, and as I suspected, you know, that's two quests that we've got, so... Um, oh, fish bucket, we could have done that quest, but I, we'll maybe think about it later. So that's one quest we've already done. This is the second quest. He might have another one, but if it ended off now, I wouldn't be surprised. And this one, I feel like there's just got to be another thing. It's a broken shield, like very specifically. Oh, get my shield back, but it's broken now, so he's probably going to want to try and get a new one. So we we'll, might have to get either get a new shield from a drop of an enemy, or maybe get some material that some you know blacksmith's going to need. But we'll only find out when we get back, so let's go back. Okay, so we're back here, finally. <laughs> It was, I, I realized that even though I could have gone down this way, I needed to go up here anyway, so it wouldn't have really actually mattered too much that that happened. But let's go talk to Reginald, tell him where his herald is, even I though we could have just probably picked up him and taken him with him. You know, don't see why not. And he didn't want us to do another quest, that's fine. And we've apparently aided him uh, perfectly fine, so that's good. Though, as I said, with Neff, it is... In all likeliness, going to require us to uh, make another quest run, which is fine. That's kind of what we're here for anyway, so, you know, if I can get those done, and we're only Greetings. 15k away, so if these are going to be 8k and he's got another quest to do, why not? So that's going to be 4k, okay, fair enough. Talk to the loss of craftsman, so yeah, definitely got another one. And it might be a case, as I said, of if he's got one more quest, we need to... Well, with our tasks included, we've leveled up anyway, even if he if he gives us 8k. If without, we might just have to go out, kill some enemies, do a simple quest. But we've got to go in here. I need to sell my stuff. Works perfectly fine, doesn't it? So let's quickly jump to the provisioner because uh, I need to do some work. Where, why is this bound to me? Where's that come from? Is that new or is that an old thing? It looks like an old thing, but it's not really... Well, okay, I think I probably thought it was okay, but looking at the difference in armor and not the massive increase in might, literally one might, uh, I don't really think. Well, that that can go. These overshoes briefly. Undetectable and stealth. Stealth is not broken by damage. So this is a item we could use to our advantage, but it is a one use only, so I'm a little disinterested, I'll be honest. This is good might, but we lose the agility, no, lose the fate, and we lose the power, which we don't really care about, plus it's one level, two levels away now. Uh, and then we can get rid of those, because we're not going to need them, and that as well. This earring, also not worth it, and I'm thinking again about getting the Miss Morgul one. It's going to give us that extra 25% XP boost as well, so that'll help us out. But uh, I will have to clear up my inventory a lot first. Just send some stuff over, because uh, I'm not using all this stuff, am I? I am pleased to be made known to you. Okay, fortunately, I'm not one of politics. I only care for the steel and my hammer. Okay, I don't think that was related to the quest. Um, you should return to Neff and tell him you learned. You found Neff's shield, but it's been broken by the... I don't remember what I learned. I didn't actually read it properly. I'm going to assume he doesn't have the materials and we need to find something, but I thought I'd just check first. My Cody is your Cody. Should have shame if I repair the seal for his unworthy piece. Oh, wow. Nice. Right, Neff. Sorry. To let you know what he said about your shield. He said it's unworthy. Not good enough. I feel like he's going to get very offended. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm gonna just don't shoot the messenger. That's all I ask. Or hit the messenger with whatever you've got. An axe, I assume. What do you need? Shame why the goal of man. I would go and speak around him myself. I don't know if I had a falling out with him. I instantly acquired after making the after the making of his craft, but he would not speak on the subject. We exchanged a number of words. Now he would not say a word to me. He's an evil tempted lout. I would not think his science a great loss were it not for my present need. Perhaps you could speak with him and see if he'll give me back one of my uh, give me one of the sturdy seals of the loss of. I will not be able to travel back to the south without a new shield. Do I have to just go talk to him again? Is it a back and forth just because you've had a disagreement? Is that what we're having? Okay. I see how it is. I actually never ended up looking at that armor. I meant to look at all the crafting stuff. I've just realized I never did it. Because I was looking at this ring for some reason. And then went, oh, I didn't actually do that. Are you well today? I do not trash the thought of making a shield for Neff. He came with me a while to request, and I told him I had a hand of materials. Uh, what I had at hand for materials. He said the main things I do not repeat now. I do not need to offend you. Is also 
But if he will not leave until his shield is completed, I will make it if only to see him depart. The items I require will be hard bone and worm scale. Both are rare and both are vital to making the Kipli shield, as the Kivaki calls them. Hard bone can be found on many beasts, while worm scale should be found on the worms in the same region. Return to me when you found these items. I'll craft the shield for a small outsider with a long beard and bad temper. Right, worms, we know where those are. Um, they're even just outside, but if we need to go to Ziggelan to get some of the winter worms, maybe we can do that. And the other things... Yeah, so Ziggelan, if we really wanted to, we could go there. There's supposedly something down here. Oh, an ice shore bear, which we can't attack, but... Oh, our champion trainer. Or a champion trainer. wonder if you have anything for us. We already had the books. Well today? Um, yeah, we had that one. We've already done these. And then these are things where we haven't got to yet because we can't do it. But where would this... What have we got? Woodworker, Ashhorn, Weaponsmith. Is there one for Weaponsmith? Woodworker as well. No, it's just Scholar and Woodworker it looks like. That's fine. Not a huge loss for us. Just these horns, which give a little bit of a stun. Now, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I can't do anything for that bear. So, it it comes under the class of being an enemy that can be attacked, but obviously we can't. I'm going to try and go around up here and see if I can get a few enemies. And then if I can get enough down here, loop back, go to Ziggerland, and then go into this area for the worms. If that's what we need to do, then that's what we'll do. Um to get that done because at least I know guaranteed there's enemies there and if it could be worms over here for all I know but most likely we're looking for bears yeah uh, I'm assuming you count you do so you've only got 2k I don't know how much these have and then there are worms as well so we should be able to do it all within the same place technically without leaving too far out of the main area right so you had 2k you have 3k. 3 and a quarter. And you have even less. And I'm assuming you also drop me hard bones. So, pretty much everything will drop the bones, but the worms will obviously drop the scales, because bears and these guys aren't exactly scaled enemies, are they? Cool. And we also get the, you know, extra XP that, even if this quest gives us a little bit less than preferred, of only like 4k, but... I would have thought it would be um, definitely 8k, considering we had to attack enemies for it. Normally, if it's like go here, from here, go talk to like someone, it's a lower XP reward, um, and then the higher XP ones are the ones where you've kind of got to go out and do something. But even if they don't give us 8k with the XP we're getting from these enemies, which is yeah, 300, is that 332? Again, it's a bit difficult sometimes to see. Yeah, 332. If I angle it right on the water, you can see it. Um, so 300, so that's at least basically 6,000 in theory. Because we've got to do 20 kills, so. At least 6,000 XP. A treasure cache over here. Again, not useful for us. Useful for when we do the deeding episode for here. Which hopefully should be a lot easier for us, because even though it's a higher level region than we've ever done before, the dealing episode, uh, we will hopefully... We're level, what, 117 now? Maybe be 119 by then? I hope at least 118. Maybe 119. Obviously best would be 120. Um, if we get there before it gets raised again. Which I hope we do. But it's going to be weird having a max level character on a playthrough. It's going to be weird to do. And then it might just be, if we ever get to like the end, especially if we end up getting through Minas Morgul fast, we might just have to speed up the d episodes. And maybe start a new character. I'm not sure. Which I feel like that character would just very quickly outdo this one because... Ever since, since the start, we've gained so many things like... You know, when you first start the game, you get nothing in your inventory. When we first start, and you have like a low inventory, you can't hold much, stuff like that. But now if I make a new character, it's just, you know, max inventory size. I get, you know, these, uh, all these items to start with. Like these XP boosts and stuff like that. They're pretty much constant throughout. 
Like, because this is going to last us to 105, and the other one's going to last us to 120, I think. I mean, it's more than one. And it levels with you, so you never have a reason to actually take them off, really. It's all good. So that will just go quicker in German, plus the lack of a uh, debuff in XP. Right, these worms. Just a slow burn of kills. But, wow, I just realized they're not actually always dropping. So you still might have to go near Ziggland because that's a high concentration of them. Guaranteed. And it's very quick to get there now with the swift travel. There we go. Yeah, these are dropping very nicely, like, consistently. And we're also getting these good furs, which hopefully we can get a decent amount of and actually start using those for task items and then these as backup uh, whenever we need to. Because these are 48, which means they'll be higher. Uh, higher reward for XP. So that's good. And none of these cloudy worm eyes are useless to us. Because they're for hunters and minstrels, which is not what we are. So as far as I'm concerned, they can just get sold. Or, if I really want to, I could just hold on to them till my hunter quest gets there. But my hunter will be able to just, you know, by that time, hopefully, get them himself. If not, then I've done a pretty bad job at making my hunter. Alright, it looks like we're turning mostly into these enemies for hard bones at the moment. We're not even made that, that far down this area. So we'll probably very quickly get that. We can then rush through, go back to worms, and just you know kill what we need to kill for worms at Ziggland. And then depending on if we get enough of these albino furs, we will um you know. Either give those in as tasks or just give in the pure black furs that we have plenty of. Why is it going red? Oh, it's because I'm low on morale. There we are. I'm done. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's get our morale. I was just totally getting distracted by these, so I didn't even pay attention. I think now that I have, you know, I died in Aymar, I just don't really pay as much attention, which is pretty bad, but... You know. We've been quite lucky before then. Right, let's get a bit of food going on. Let's just use the regular perfect pies. Just for the moment. Okay, and hopefully just two more kills, and then we can head over to Ziggland, which definitely gives us time to regen our morale, and go from there. And now that we have got this on us, makes me definitely want to, that means twice, I think that's the most we've died in an episode. That might be the case. I hope not, because that's kind of upsetting then, but... Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to head back this way because hopefully some of them have spawned back and then we'll go down through uh, to Ziggland. Right, so those are done. This area, okay, apparently, apparently, if I carry on a little bit further, I'm going to hit more worms. So I will trust the map and go against what I just said. And uh, go from there. So just this, apparently this small area. And then, yeah, some worms. Good. Hopefully, if we're lucky, only five more of these kills and then we can be finished with this today. Hopefully, well, pretty much at this point, definitely leveling up, even without the tasks being used. But even if we're leveling up, we still want to 
you know. The main objective isn't necessarily to level up. Um, that's just a byproduct of what the main objective of pretty much every episode is, which is not wasting this bonus XP. Uh, during a normal play session, like if you play for like a couple of hours, then that's pretty easy, but we have these small little tidbits every episode, which at this point is pretty much half an hour now, so. And I've been playing for even longer than that because all the traveling around. So, normally it's not that difficult if you just play for a decent amount of time, but we want to be efficient with these episodes. Right, we're being lucky now. Now, I've said that, we're probably not going to be, but we got two worm scales so far. One more enemy here, and then another down there, and hopefully with those two kills, that is us finished. We'll then have to give those back into that dude. I can't remember the name, but he's R. Uh, d -d 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 Rauno. Rauno? Yeah, maybe he's best set. Um, I didn't get a scale. I'm going to kill this one then, and then hope. I did say that now it's not going to drop, but it's fine, it's fine. If this one doesn't drop, then I'll go down this way. Um, if it does, I'll go over there. If that one doesn't drop, then I'll go around here. It's a lot of backtracking on myself, but you got to kind of be awkward with it. Please drop. Thank you. I think I've changed my mind already with what I just said. Just because this is closer, even though it's further away. And then I can just go to that one. This helps with the uh, Slayer dude as well, which is good. That's the thing as well with the deeding. It's going to take the longest. Is Now it's just slowly but surely an increase in the amount of like... used to be 30-60 for a Slayer deed, And then it went to... Uh, f you know, you had a few 48s and a few 60-100... Uh, no, 5100s, I think. And you go 60, 120. And now we're at that point where it's 100, 200. And that goes 120 to 40, I think. And then I think later on, it actually lowers down back to like 60, I think. Does it weird, like, yeah. So it slowly gets more and more enemies you have to kill. And then it slowly goes down again. Hopefully, this is his last quest. And then I can say I've done good stuff today. That is the hope. If not, we'll just have to hold off till next episode. I think. We'll, we'll not do the Hunter one, even though I said I would. And, uh... We'll go back to the Epic Quest next episode. Okay. You gonna need anything else, or are you just gonna make it? it is a brisk day, Get the is shield. It? They do like, in this area, I've noticed these sort of... You have to wait for them to make the item. Do you wish to um... Okay, so these are fur linings, which are used for these single-use items, which have to be an ally and a master metalsmith. Um, so you have to have... Oh, master metal, like, as in the, the tier, not mastery of metalsmith. Um... And they give you uh, frost uh, mitigation. That's kind of cool. I never actually knew about those. It is a brisk day, right, bring the shield to him. Okay, that's us finished. I want to see what you, oh, so I can get from you. That's a nice cloak, but not really worth it for us. Uh, hunter class items have a guide. Uh, I want to see the warden, which is a, a muster thing. A mount. You have to be kindred for those mounts. So what is there? There's normally like a return to like just regular one, like an hour long one. But I want to see if there's anything for us. Like a pretty decent sword, I guess. I just wanted to see if there's any champion specific stuff, but apparently not. And you're a furnisher. My standing is too low. Oh day. All right, let's get out of here. Right, back to Neth to finish off, and then we'll have a look at these tasks. Worst case scenario, we go back to Ziggland and do our tasks there if the level is too high here. If these are the 48 ones, which we don't have enough for yet, then we'll just have to go to the other place and complete these ones from there. So Neth, 
Green. Thank you. You're going to be a battle ward and more rep, which is good. And a level up to 48. He's got a new shield. Perfect. But how will I afford us such a repair? How could you have done? I'm sorry. Why have you? Why have you? Just kill some stuff. It's not fair. You must show me the cost to repair my new shield. Is he going to say, is he going to give me a quest? Or just get annoyed at me for something? I was talking to that Bill Fernie fellow about the shield he sold me. Are you going to... No? I thought he might be like... Since this has happened, blah, 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 blah. But no, we've completed this. He's just... <laughs> realised his shield is better. We've got Hobnanigans. I don't think that's going to give me XP. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I was like 99.9% .9 sure of that. But let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Use these rep items. I don't have any other rep items, I don't think. Fine, these guys are now uh, not purple anymore. That's kind of nice because they're seven levels now, not uh, the lower. Like, we're not eight levels below now. So, fair broken wooden clubs, which we had here. The great scales we can give in and the pure black skin. So, we can't give in the furs anymore. What I'll do then is um, I will give in the great scales and the... Okay, we haven't got monstrouses. I'll give in the great scales because I think that'll probably give us more. Who do we have to give those into? Okay, that's not that far. So we're giving these scales since we have 40 or 41 of them. And then those give us 2,282, which I think is more than the other ones would have given us. In fact, let's do one pure black skin and see the difference uh, in XP. Since that was our previous highest. Okay, 2282, 2282. So actually both the same. Uh, which is fair enough because they're both the same item level. But I will just do the great... Actually, we'll do pure black skins like this so it minimizes our trip uh, trip length. And uh, either way, we've used up all our bonus XP today as well. So that's good. From all those XP, uh, from all those kills, that's his, uh, obviously an extra... 6k basically more than because we had to kill more than the regular amount anyway so one one four one we have now got uh level 48 i'm gonna clear up my inventory uh probably i'll hold on to the pure black furs and the pure black skins might get rid of the other stuff simply because i don't think i could have given in the gilded stuff no simply because the next quest is back in angmar so we're going to be a completely different set of items uh, because, yeah, I'm, we're going to go back now. Because I'm not going all the way over there for a hunter. We'll do that eventually when we've got to go there for a, like, proper quest. Uh, there's an actual, like, proper um, epic quest over there bit, I think, if I remember. So we'll go do that. And then, you know, from there we can work on, uh, work on that deed completion. But I'm going to go find out what the next quest is. I'm pretty sure it's back in Angmar. Uh, I think I have to go into Kandum next, which is going to be fun, because we just made the key, if I remember correctly, because we had to get those um, smithing hammer thing, if I remember correctly. It's been a while, because we've been here for a very long time, <laughs> but that's going to be for now. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.